Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Hydra v Vajra. We have a crazy pancake mirror match going on here. Except the mirror is also a bit reflected. We have shield versus armor. Both sides have brought Stormbringers. There's six pancakes on the field. I'm Wingnut, of course, joined by Miz. And this is going to be a very, very interesting match. Yeah, this is probably one of the most hyped up matches of today. And already looking at the setups, like this is a lot of things we've not seen before, even though both teams brought three baggers. So it is, as you said, the armor versus shield. So we're going to see the... Uh, the Vitra team having the advantage of having a lot of evil, while the Hydra team is having the extra low slots for DPS. And the countdown is uh, going down, it's reaching zero in just a moment, and there we go. And there's a lot of weird things about this whole thing, it's like both teams have brought Stormbringers because the Skybreakers were both banned, so everything about this is utter chaos and absolutely loving it. I believe, I have to double check before I say it, just to make sure. I believe both sides brought Rapid Heavy Bargus, so I just need to double check that for you guys. Yeah, they're both Rapid Heavy, and... Uh... Yeah, the Vitra team is having an armor Stormbring. I think that's the first time I've seen that. Casper uh, 24 in the Jackdaw is uh, taking a heavy amount of damage. Looks like he might actually go down before he uh, boundaries. Yeah, I better say, like, why are you shooting Casper, mate? He's going to go a boundary on his own. There's no worries there. We see a Agama of Tosetta MZ being hit as well, same as Jim Rayner. So there's a lot of damage being spread on the low end here. At the moment, the big stuff isn't really being touched, nor any of the medium-sized ships. We'll see a Stormbring actually being shot, so never quite mind there. Look at both is, situations. Yeah. Uh, oh, Pandy is in the Bagus is taking damage. Like he is, a, is it's an armor Bagus, so the shield damage is not that much of a big deal. But looks like they're going for the big thing. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Like I know Anuris is going to tank it well enough that it will it should hopefully survive the clip and then repair it back up. You see the Garma actually just sets it, just gets obliterated. Shield Garma's just uh, armor Garma, sorry, don't do too well. It seems we also see Osprey Navy of Ferox being hit as well. So damage is going absolutely everywhere. They seem to test each other out. Again, this is this is a this is like a, a morphed mirror match. Everything is so much the same, but so different. Yeah, the, with the Vitra team having the uh, mislots for tracking uh, and guidance disruption, it is forcing uh, Hydra to go in. As we saw, usually Hydra likes to to sit back and then make for a play, uh, but they're really good uh, in this region. They have to burn in, and it looks like uh, Ferox uh, in the Osprey Navy issue might be going down. He's taking a heavy amount of damage, not uh, that much reps. Yeah, if, if he goes down, it'll be a trade of two Garmas from Osprey Navy, which, to be fair, is not a bad trade for, uh, for Vydra. But actually, it looks like they might have actually run out of Rapid Heavies. I think that's their clip. Yeah, the DPS on both sides is slowing down a bit. Uh, so I think like both sides are going to re recover their ships uh, while we're waiting. Like we do have a uh, uh, Casper 24 in the Jackdaw still can be able to shoot, and likewise the uh, Stormbringers can shoot. But at this point, uh, it's just chilling a bit while waiting for, for the next uh, Karnas to break out. Exactly. We see these Kyrians trying to rep this Osprey Navy back up as hard as they can. That way he's ready for the next volley. See some, he's starting to take a little bit of damage here and there from drones. Also looks like the uh, Oniros of Karnas is now taking an absolute punishing amount of firepower. And the Osprey Navy gets to get yeah. deleted. He does get finished off. Are they going to go for the second Osprey Navy? Or going to the the Oniros is, is actually tackled by the, uh, the Stalk of Blue Melon. Oh, mate, Blue Melon with a great tackle from the Stork. Casper took all of oh, the But he does go down and <laughs> he sacrificed himself for the Oniros, and I think that's a pretty good uh, trade, even though it's the only Lynx. Uh, Blue Melon is a long time Hydra pilot. It's great to see him uh, still in but the game. But he does trade it for the Oniros. That is crazy. Also, I think he got shot by Rapid Heavies. Like three Rapid Heavy volleys hit him at once and just deleted him. So that's crazy. But they did trade that for a really strong uh, Logi ship as Casper also goes down. This is, this is just going in every direction. Yeah, uh, for the uh, Vitra team, they are not having any re repairs anymore aside from a lot of So these ships can get picked off now. And Pandy in the base is taking a lot of damage. If they can get that one down, they are in a massive lead. Exactly that. If that bar goes down, they are absolutely in the lead there. See, this bar is trying his absolute best to survive. This is just utter chaos. Now, um, Hydra still have that Osprey Navy. So they have a lot more like uh, firepower against smaller ships. So they can do some damage. You see a Megas actually taking... A lot of punishment from this guy. So that, that might tip the favors there, to be honest, just to having the Osprey Navy alone. As I've mentioned in a previous match, having a Lodgy when you start to get into a later game is a big advantage as the Ripper just keep like adding up in value. So they can sustain much better. That being said, Dark Rai in the Osprey Navy issue is uh, taking a lot of damage, and I think the Kyrins are a bit out of range, so they need to get in fast and save him. Yeah, I think even then, he's still going to struggle. That's three Bargus worth of damage that are going to be ripping into him, and he does go down really quickly. So now they've got a few heavy missiles left. What do they shoot next? They're going to try and shoot a ship before uh, Pandy goes down, or are they going to try and go for the reload? I think no matter what, Pandy's about to pop. 
There he goes. I think at this point there are really not any good targets for the Vitra team to shoot. With the Stormbringer is super tanky and so is the uh, battleships and the Kirins they will be hard to apply to with the heavy missiles. Yeah, I guess you have to go for a bargain some prey. There's not much option, other options you have here at the moment. However, killing the Alpha Navy did save the Maguses, so they're still on the field. They'll probably try and go for these Kirins if they can. Um, see, just having a look around, yep. One Magus is a mile away, the other one's uh, a little bit closer. Yeah, I think uh, killing the Kirins is still the best chance to, to kill anything, but they are hard to apply to. Uh, but Atrophy is actually taking a lot of damage. Oh yeah, he's being utterly swarmed with light drones. Like there are like three or four flights and just are gone, ripped to shreds. But honestly, just... even with that happening, I still think I favor Vydra. Uh, sorry, Hydra way more than Vydra here. Oh god, these names are driving me crazy. Yeah, having three baggers with full HP is a big advantage for them. They're about to get uh, Nika down in uh, his uh, baggers. Uh, Nika has the long time uh, captain of the uh, uh, Vitla team and. Uh, Removing this uh, second of the virus is removing a lot of DPS from the uh, uh, Vitra team. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to remove all the support as quickly as they can, but I think it's a little a too little too late at the moment. These bargs are still effectively untouched. Meanwhile, their barg and Nika has just been brought down to damn near no tank at all. So, very much not looking good for Vidra here. They're going to need a miracle. The virus is pinned down by a Cadet's Priestess in uh, the Stormbringer. So, there's no way for the virus to go and uh, just accept uh, his faith as he uh, goes down. Such a crazy match, though. Like again, it's effect. It was like a really just effect uh, warped mirror there, armor versus shield, but effectively the same sort of ship and idea. It's so crazy. I absolutely love this. Yeah, one thing with the Hydra and Vitra facing off each other, like the teams that know each other really well, they practice a lot together. So they're always trying to outplay each other, getting uh, this uh, upper hand. And it looks like this time it's just Hydra who. Uh, who got the upper hand uh, in the setup there? Oh, yeah. Shield buggers are superior to armor buggers, after all, in all respects. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it looks like uh, they're going for Nick in the uh, uh, buggers. Uh, he's a long time uh, tournament player as well. I've known him for a long time, cool guy. And uh, he is taking a heavy amount of damage, but he does have an ASB, and he's, you can see that he's ripping at the same time there, like shipping into uh, no armor of uh, Scoof. Scoop up in the, the bag is that he's going to hold. So this is the last real DPS chip from Vitra going down. I also like that no one bothered to shoot either of the Stormbringers in this match. It's just like, they're too tanky. It's not worth it. All they're really doing is killing drones. We don't really care. But both sides bought them, seeing the use as a drone clearer. Yeah, we're seeing uh, uh, DFs in local and Casper said uh, see you in the finals, hoping to... <laughs> <laughs> face uh, Vitra again, uh, like uh, they've been doing a couple of times, so uh, GF uh... He's hoping for a round two. He didn't He didn't get a chance to boundary, so I'd want a round two as well. <laughs> this is just, yeah. At this point though, we have to watch three Bargas of Rapid Heavy's attempt to apply to a small stuff, so this, this may be a slight struggle for them. Yeah, it looks like the uh, Vitra team are just going for the boundary, they're going... Uh... Uh, actually, they did uh, manage to kill one of them, uh, uh, but the rest of them are just burning out. They are accepting uh, the fate, and they are going to prepare to face the Tusk as a uh, tough matchup is waiting for them. Absolutely. We'll see if any of these guys can try and break the uh, the boundary record here, but I suspect this will not be the case. I mean, with Casper watching too, he's currently the, the record holder, so he maybe he wants no one else to do it but him. Oh, let's see if this Megas of Head Kadir is going for it. He's still doing another damn beacon. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, it's all meant to go down. It's all meant. Yeah, there we go. They're all slowly popping. Don't bring the tank. Just... Damn. Yeah, it's not really going that fast. Um... Is I guess that's an A B Stormbringer. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, it, it, I think it's not the burn Stormbringer, so he's not going particularly fast. So he'll just slow boat at the arena if he doesn't die first, which I think he will. So again, bravo to Hydra here! Like absolutely crazy match. 
Vajra, unfortunately, going to be going to lose the bracket, and I think facing Tuskers, which is another brutal match to go through. As this Stormbringer is still just slowly boating to the edge. Ah, there we go. And with that, we'll send it back to the studio.